first of all, this is awesome. Being here at Carrollton. It is awesome. How cool is Carrollton? Uh, very humbled and honored to be here. This is a it's a program that's been playing football for a long time. Uh, only had five head coaches prior to me. It's a place that does not have a lot of turnover. How, how old is Carrollton? Carrollton started in the late 1800s. And I don't know their exact First, uh, I want to say their first, their, their first football season was prior, was like around 1910. Wow. So they've been playing football for a long time, but a place that cares about its students, cares about its, about its athletics, and cares about its football, loves its football, a place that has high expectations, but I don't want to be at a place that doesn't. So this is a good fit for me being here. So we just dropped a, a kind of a pin, if you will, on where we're at today. Let's go back. High school wise, where did you play high school? Where did you play college? What's what's that history like? So I guess quick quick bio rundown. Uh, grew up in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Went to Burkmar High School. Burkmar's in Lilburn, Georgia. I'm sure everybody's heard of Parkview High School. So it was us in Parkview. Um, we battled for the green flag, which was the Lilburn champs. We it was a it was it was a big rivalry for that time. And then went to Valdosta State. University, very good Division II football team in South Georgia. Was there for five seasons, redshirted one, and really started to learn a lot about the coaching side of, you know, of, of football. Was fortunate enough to be on a national championship runner-up team, was on the 04 national championship team, was a backup quarterback, and then I went and coached at Northern State University in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Um, it's where I met my wife and uh, then actually came back and coached two years at Valdosta State and was the running back coach for the 07 championship team. So, okay, so you played uh, you played with Valdosta. Yes, sir. And you, you knew you were going to be a coach right away? I, when did you know you were going to be a coach? I knew I was going to be a coach a long, long, long time ago. Um, there's actually a funny baby picture of me in, a, me in a onesie that has coaching staff written written all over it. So I guess it was fate. Just my dad describes of how I used to watch games, you know, and saying, you know, throw here and throw here, and you know, I, I looked at games different, and I just knew that um, I knew I wasn't going to be any major college football player, wasn't going to go play in the NFL. So, you know, what's the what's the next best thing? And staying with the sport that I really, really enjoy and really love, uh, was able to coach it. So that's awesome. Uh, really quick, what was? What was the, what's the coaching branch? You know how everybody's a part of a coaching tree. What's the coaching tree you come from in that Valdosta State? Mine would be off of Chris Hatcher, who is the head coach at Sanford right now. So when I got to Valdosta State in 2000, he was that that was his first season. So okay. I was able to kind of learn the air raid stuff. I was a wing tee quarterback in high school, so didn't know anything about the shotgun. Didn't know anything about you know mesh routes and reading routes and cross and this and that so I just really started to learn you know and really enjoyed it so uh, Chris Hector for sure and so okay so another coach you coached with was coach Probst what was that whole scenario like uh, coaching with a guy that is a legend no, right? he's got a lot of history big resume and also uh, state titles so mix that in that whole so I'm at Collins Hill High School and loving our time there and this opportunity came up for me to take a job at Caldwell County. You know, just amazing how the Lord kind of works in your life. You know, we weren't looking of going anywhere. And professionally, it was a job that I couldn't pass up. You know, I don't, want, I don't ever want to get stagnant, stale. You know, I always want to advance in my profession. And so who better to learn from than Coach Probst. You know, everybody talks about Hoover and Colquitt, but you look at the three, four previous stops he was at prior to Hoover, teams had no idea who they were, and he took them on a playoff team. So he's got a formula that's second to none, in my opinion. And so, you know, I knew someday I wanted to be a head coach. Uh, and so who better to learn from? And 80% of what I do on a daily basis is stuff that I learned from my two years being down there. I would love to have been with him when he first got that job, you know, mm -hmm. and to see how he fully turned it around. Because when I got there, you know, it was a well-oiled machine, and I just kind of try to tweak it a little bit, you know. And I was fortunate enough to be the OC down there in 14 and 15, and uh, we went 30 and 0, and 
you know, broke the seven A scoring record back to back years, and it was just, you know, he he let me coach. You know, he wasn't he wasn't always looking over my shoulder. I mean, he hires guys to do their job. Wow. And so we did, and of course I had to learn the system and you know and learn the culture, and which is a lot like Carrollton really is from the just the diversity to the to the football community to generations of people who are still here who went here and kids who play here now and so there's so many similarities but being on that 30 no ride was I mean that I mean that I mean, that was incredible but you can't take a job knowing you're going to win I mean you can't see mm -hmm. the future I was taking that job and I told him day one I said coach I'm taking this job to become a head coach and he said he said, that's why you're the guy for the job, because he wants to hire people that want to advance. That's what I want to do with my coaching staff. You know, so that was, that was the best move professionally that, you know, that I could make.